an US manufacturer needs to decide how much of each product should be produced and the amount of stock that should be available at various points in time. The goal is to improve cost effectiveness and availability in the supply chain. Hub has developed three apps for demand forecasting. In this video, you'll learn how to use forecasting AI. Go to LogHub tab and open your supply chain apps. There are three predictive analytics apps choose forecasting AI. Generate template to see needed data structure. Here we see that it is required to have periods from which we have demand data, in this case days, and values, historical demand data. When you are importing your own data, it is important that columns are named exactly the same as in template. Now let's link the table. Make sure to connect header as well. Next step is setting up the parameters. You can aggregate your historical time series data according to the aggregation basis. Aggregation can be done by day, week, month or year. Aggregation method determines how to handle the data in the aggregation step. Choose between sum, mean and median. You can define how to handle missing data. For example, if a day in your historical time series is missing, we're choosing to be taken as a zero. You can generate future vectors based on year, month, week, day. This will be used during the learning process. Choose forecast period, for example 35 days, and press calculate. In the next step, we are exporting the results. Output table shows historical data and predicted demand values. As already mentioned, predicted demand shows demand for the next 35 days. Let's visualize it. The dashboard shows that there are 608 historical values and 35 predicted values. On one axis we can see values and on the other we can see dates. And historical values are in one color and predicted one in other color. Let's sum up what we have achieved today. Predicted daily demand shows manufacturer how many products should be produced daily and the amount of stock that needs to be available daily. This will lead to cost savings through better resource utilization and avoiding overcapacities. All done by following four steps. Try it by yourself.